Hi guys, so today's topic is the difference between FDD and TDD. FDD or frequency division duplex and time DD, time division duplex, are two fundamental concepts in mobile communications. Whenever a mobile network is being designed, FDD and TDD are two of the most fundamental considerations. FDD and TDD determine the duplex scheme that a mobile network is to use. Before diving into FDD and TDD, let's look at the basic telecom principles. In any telecommunication systems, we have full duplex systems and half duplex systems. The frequency division duplex, or FDD, is a full duplex system. On the other hand, TDD, or time division duplex, is a half duplex system. A full duplex system is one that can transmit and receive simultaneously. A half duplex system is a telecom system that can either transmit or receive at any given time. However, if a telecom system is using TDD, it doesn't mean that it becomes like a walkie-talkie. It still can be a modern wireless system. So basically what happens in FDD, or frequency division duplex, is that a mobile operator is given a frequency band, then they chop it up into three pieces. One of them is used for the uplink, one for the downlink, and the one in the middle is the guard band. The guard band basically separates uplink from the downlink to avoid any potential interference. The TDD systems, or time division duplex systems, do not work like that. In TDD, a mobile operator is given one spectrum, and the entire spectrum can be used for uplink as well as downlink. However, the uplink and the downlink communication have a time gap between the two. So it basically means that if you compare the two, the FDD systems have a guard band between uplink and downlink, and TDD systems have a guard time between uplink and downlink. When you're looking at the FDD and TDD communication, you will come across the concept of simultaneous communication versus concurrent communication. Simultaneous just means that the uplink and the downlink communication can happen at the same time. It means that these communication can happen at the same point in time. The concurrent communication, however, which is used by the TDD systems, just means that the uplink and downlink communication are not happening at the same time, but they're still happening within the same period of time. That means that the uplink and downlink communication are transmitted and received while you're talking. So it means that it's not going to wait for you to finish so that it can send it. It will be sending as you speak and it will be receiving as the other person on the phone speaks. It happens so quickly that a TDD system can emulate a full duplex system. It does not become a full duplex system, but it can emulate that behavior. In mobile telecoms, GSM, UMTS, and LTE technologies primarily use the FDD systems. Both 4G LTE and 5G NR can be both FDD and TDD. It is also worth mentioning that even though the UMTS networks were mainly FDD, in China a TDD version of UMTS was used. This TDD version of UMTS is called TDS-CDMA. TDS-CDMA stands for Time Division Synchronous Code Division Multiple Access. It's quite a mouthful, but that's the technology that was used in China, and it's based on UMTS, but a TDD version of UMTS. Now let's have a look at the differences between FTD and TDD, and the pros and cons of each. The most obvious advantage of TDD systems over FDD systems is that in TDD you can use the entire spectrum for uplink and downlink. As you know, the mobile frequency spectrum is one of the most expensive resources that a mobile operator has to purchase. So if they can use it wisely, of course, it's more beneficial to them. Since the FDD systems use a separate frequency band for uplink and downlink and then have a guard band in between, it consumes a lot more frequency. With the TDD system, a mobile operator can decide and use the capacity efficiently. So for example, instead of using half of the capacity for uplink and half of the capacity for downlink, if there is a lot of demand for downloads, the mobile operator can allocate more resources to downlink for downloads. With the TDD system, a mobile operator can dynamically assign more resources to either uplink or downlink depending on the customer demand. One challenge with the TDD systems is that the guard time is proportional to the distance between a mobile phone and the base station. It basically means that if a mobile operator 
wants to extend the coverage of a TDD system, they need to increase the guard time as well. By increasing the guard time between the uplink and the downlink, it's possible to add delay to the communication. As a result, the FTD systems are better for coverage as compared to the TDD systems. With FTD, a mobile operator does not need to invest in too many base stations because a smaller number of base stations can still provide the network coverage. The TDD systems, on the other hand, require more base stations because the coverage is limited. Now, this coverage limitation may be a challenge for most mobile networks, but it's not a challenge for 5G networks. The 5G new radio technology can operate in multiple frequency bands. The higher frequency bands have higher losses, which means that the higher frequencies cannot provide extended range, but they can provide much bigger bandwidths within a smaller area. That's why the higher frequencies in 5G networks operate in a small cell setup. As a result, the TDD systems can provide a good solution to 5G because if you're looking for a small cell setup, then coverage limitation is not an issue. The FTD systems also require duplexers in the mobile phones. A duplexer means that additional hardware is needed in a mobile phone so that the same antennas can be used for both uplink and downlink communication simultaneously. Finally, the deployment of TDD systems can be a little bit more complex than FTD. That is because a mobile operator has to ensure time synchronization between the serving cells and the neighboring cells. The lack of time synchronization can lead to service degradation. Thanks for watching this video guys. I've written a very detailed post on this topic. So if you are interested, have a look at the link in the description below.